Sallow from GPS to Go. We're rolling down the highway today and we're going to talk to you about the Go 5 Compact and its built in beeper. And the beeper can help you with many different aspects of keeping your fleet's expenses under control. Things like harsh braking, things like stopping idling, things like hard acceleration around corners. We've set up a speed threshold with this vehicle. If the vehicle goes above 100 kilometers an hour, the Go 5 Compact is gonna to start to beep right in the cab. So I'm gonna speed up a little bit and we're gonna go up above 100 kilometers an hour. And the beeper is beeping away telling us to slow down. So we've got a compliance lower value set at 90 kilometers an hour. So once we slow down and we come under 90 kilometers an hour, it stops beeping. But it will allow us to go all the way up to 100 again. Now this doesn't stop somebody from having to pass a car, right? You can still accelerate to do that. The next thing that you can do with the Go 5 Compact and the beeper system, I'm going to make the unit beep by taking this corner right here too heavily. So all I have to do is corner too heavily, it's now going to register and you're going to hear the beep 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 in the cab telling the driver that he is pushing the vehicle around the corner too heavily. Here we are stopped at a stop sign and everyone knows that you should be accelerating off of stop lights and stop signs conservatively. So a heavy foot costs you more gas. So what we're going to do is we have the RPM on the Go 5 Compact set up to start beeping at anything over 3000 RPM. So I can feather the gas and take off quite nicely without having to speed or I'm going to show you here I'm going to push it real hard and uh, it's going to start to beep right in the cab. So let's take a look. So you heard that. So as soon as we push the uh, RPM too high to do a real fast acceleration off of our start, we're going to start to hear the beeping right in the cab. One of the biggest complaints that we get out in the uh, field is business owners and managers tell us it seems like my vehicles are idling and they're idling away our gas all day. So here what we've done is we've set it up where I've got the iPhone timer on here. So we've got 35 seconds of a two minute idling time ready to go. So at the two minute threshold, the Go 5 Compact that's installed into the GPS to go truck should start beeping. So we'll let this count down and we'll uh, wait to hear the beeping at the two minute mark. Okay, so we're coming up on the two minute mark now. So we'll count down on that. Five, four, three, two, one, and there's your beep. All right, so the unit starts beeping right in the cab. We can hear that, and that tells the driver either turn the vehicle off or start moving. All right, so for the harsh braking, what I'm gonna do is bring the GPS to go truck up to speed, and then we're gonna brake hard. This is a really good indication of a distracted driver, okay? Here we go, let's see if we can get this thing to beep. Oh, there we go. So we've got the sensitivity turned to a certain level, so now we're able to see whether or not you've got harsh braking with your employees. Everything that we've looked at today, we've looked at harsh braking, we've looked at harsh acceleration, we've looked at excess idling time, we've looked at hard cornering, and we've also looked at speeding. In order to really maximize what's going on with those, look through your Checkmate website. We can train you on how to see that and what it will look like. I'm Russ Sallow from GPS2Go. Now you know.